Your next plant today is number 49 on your list, Fraxinus latifolia. This is the Oregon ash. As the common name suggests, it is native to uh, Oregon and riparian areas. Around Oregon, that means where we have uh, uh, sufficient moisture uh, to support this plant. Uh, first thing I'll, I'll point out is in 2014, when we're doing this plant, or when, I, when we're recording this video, uh, we had a really severe outbreak of um, uh, anthracnose uh, that has impacted them. So basically driving around the state uh, later in this, during this summer, uh, we've seen lots and lots of damage, and so they're looking really rough this year. So that's why uh, what we're seeing here. And uh, I'm not certain why there was such a bad outbreak, although we did have a really, really dry, really warm summer, uh, which probably had an impact on that. As far as um, uh, the, the botanical characters of uh, Fraxinus latifolia, it has a, uh, a leaf that's uh, quite reminiscent to, a, uh, uh, to other ash. It's odd pinnately compound. That means it has uh, lateral leaflets in pairs, and then a terminal uh, leaflet here. In this case, two, four, six, seven leaflets, quite common number. It's in the Oleaceae, so it has oppositely arranged leaves. We always know that. Uh, the the uh, flowers and fruit, typical of what we're going to see in uh, many of our ash, it has a, uh, the, the fruit is a Samara, which is a dried winged uh, nutlet. Easy way to tell um, uh, Oregon ash, Fraxinus latifolia, from some of our others, and what I'm holding here is a, uh, a Fraxinus pennsylvanica. Okay, is in Fraxinus pennsylvanica, you can see that we have this uh, terminal leaflet that's going to be quite distinctly um, uh, accumulate and it's going to be sort of coarsely uh, serrate. In the case of uh, Oregon ash, Fraxinus latifolia, the terminal leaflet is much broader and it sort of it often does have this sort of um, concave or convex uh, shape to it, I guess convex, where it bends down uh, a little bit like this, but much broader and uh, much less serration uh, on, on the uh, terminal leaflet there. So that is uh, Fraxinus latifolia, should not be too terribly uh, uh, difficult to tell from Fraxinus pennsylvanica, which we'll see next.